ground jet in Juliet, India 1028. Could you please connect the jetway to the aircraft? Jet in Juliet, India 1028. The jetway is going to be connected. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Well, as usual, Jetton Airways is setting the trends. Yes, we as usual, we're leading the way when it comes to YouTube and flight sim videos. Because today we're starting a series called uh, My Career in Jetton Airways. And uh, we're going to work our way up through the rankings, through the pilot rankings in Jet and Airways, and to see how, how far we can go before we lose interest. <laughs> but let's have a look. Here is the pilot ranking scale. And uh, you're welcome to join in with me. Here it is, the pilot rank. This is how many hours you have to do to get promoted in Jet and Airways. You start off as a trainee. Most of our pilots in Jet and Airways now are all captains. And uh, so I'm going to start at the captain level and I'm going to climb up from there. I've got at least 60 hours uh, under my belt. So most of you, if you've been playing Flight Simulator for a year or two, you've probably got hundreds of hours. So um, I'm being very modest and uh, conservative with my guess. So I'm starting at 60 hours. I'm going to work up to flight captain. Then I'm going to go up to senior captain. 125 hours so we're going to have to do some serious flight time but today is day one of our jet and airways career and we're at 60 hours and we're going to try and get up today well we won't get up to 75 hours today we're going to do a flight from ksan to klax and it's very apt that we start our career at this um at this hub because uh, all those years ago many many years ago flight simulator x that's where we based our airline uh, for jet and out of San Diego. So we're going right back to our roots and we're starting our career mode at uh, San Diego. So here we are, 60 hours. Um, that's where I'm sitting at the, the moment. Excuse me. I'll open up the other page, my ranking. So uh, here I am on the ranking page now you're welcome to fly along with me guys and join in with the career mode if you like you can start off as captain if you like uh, let me know in the comments I'll put your name under here under my one and I'll put captain there I'll put you in for 60 hours and um, I'll put you in with 60 hours and then you can fly the routes that I fly fly the trips that I fly um, you don't have to use my flight plan exactly if you want to do a better job of your flight planning than I do and most people do uh, just fly your flight plan but go from uh, do the do the flights that I do from KSAN to KLX or whatever but just make your own tweaks and adjustments to your flight plan and I'll put the time the times in here which will be exactly the same as mine if we're going from one city to the other city uh, we'll keep it basic we'll keep it simple and I'll put your times in here and we will climb up the rankings together, okay? All the way up to Senior Captain Plus. Um, so let's get things underway today. The first day of our uh, career as a 737 pilot for Jetton Airways. Now, I've already done some work on the, uh, on the FMC and everything so let's go into the cockpit and I'll show you what I've got set up here for today's route okay so these are the waypoints I've put into my FMC starting at KSAN then we've gone to WNFLD and then KERNL JYWNN Padres PADRZ HFMNN TRNDO SHELL SHELL Fogler, F-O-G-L-A, and then it's straight into K-L-A-X. We're departing, runway 27, departure out through Padre. Arrivals, we have Zuma 3, and approach ILS 25 right. Um, but you need to go into your, put these into your FMC, and there will be a few discontinuities, okay, but this is the order how you need things down like that just the ones that are on the list like I just showed you 
and uh, and then you will have the flight plan uh, like this one um, we come out of uh, San Diego turn to the right come up the coast and then we cut inland around the back over the city and then straight into runway 25 so it's a lovely flight plan and um, we're going to do it now and we're going to log our hours and see if we can't um, see if we can't start climbing up the jet in the jet in uh, pilot ranking uh, today okay so that's into the FMC let's go ahead and um, get some other things all done here uh, let's start our APU we'll get that running and we'll start working on our clearance as well huh? clearance delivery jet in Juliet India 1028 IFR to Los Angeles ready to copy Jet and Juliet India 1028 is cleared to Los Angeles Airport as filed. Take off runway 27 climb and maintain 10,000 feet. Departure frequency is 124.35 squawk 1665. Okay, we can acknowledge our taxi clearance. Jet and Juliet India 1028 cleared to Los Angeles Airport as filed. Take off runway 27 climb and maintain 10,000 feet. Departure on 124.35 squawk 1665. Okay, we've got our. Um, Juliet India 1028 readback is correct. Contact ground on 123.9 when ready to taxi. We have Good our APU running now. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get some taxi clearance. Lindbergh Ground, Jet and Juliet, India 1028, with whiskey ready to taxi IFR. Jet and Juliet, India 1028, taxi 2, and hold short of runway 27 using taxiway Bravo, Bravo 1. Contact tower on 118 decimal tree when ready. Okay, so that's our taxi clearance all done. Taxi 2 and hold short runway 27 using taxiway Bravo Bravo 1 Jet and Juliet India 1028. Right, 1028. Gonna climb out, gonna climb out to 230. Uh, 230 knots, climb out to 10,000 feet. So we can uh, go ahead and get some pushback. We have our brakes uh, off. So let's get some pushback going here. Lindbergh Ground, Jet and Juliet India 1028 requesting pushback. Check, uh, taxi lights are on. Jet and Juliet India 1028 pushback request accepted. Turn on our fuel pumps. And uh, we should be getting pushed back. That looks good. Check our brakes are off. Our pushback cart is doing funny things again. It keeps stopping after a few seconds and disconnecting. So I sort of have to hold down the brake for some reason. 
It might be a bit of a bug, I think. I've found somewhere. Uh, unless I'm not doing something right. But uh, Never mind. I can hold around the brake. Mm, push back stop. Lindbergh ground Jet and Juliet India 1028 requesting the end of pushback. Jet and Juliet India 1028 request to end pushback received. Okay, so it's about it was about 6:30 in the morning. The sun is coming up now, so uh, uh, I don't, don't know if we'll see much of the sunrise actually. Um, but let's get our engine started, get that underway here. I thought I was in the 700, I'm actually in the 737-800. By the look of that. Um, it just loaded automatically from my last flight, I guess. Speed brakes are to go. And we can turn our flight director on. Okay, now left engine underway. I've done this route so many times, I should be able to do a blindfolded. Um, <coughs> but I am trying to use SIDS and STARS now. My good friend Alan, one of our pilots, has been been helping me with that, pushing me a little bit in the past. I know I'm just a fun casual flyer, so I've always done things the quick and easy way, just on the flight planner. But I am trying to improve my skills little bit by little bit. So I'm trying to use SIDS and STARS now when I do my flight planning. So I'll put those into the flight plan that you would have seen. Uh, so I haven't practiced this flight, okay, this is it guys. I've just put that plan together, hoping that it is a good one, that it does actually work out. So uh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. You can have a good laugh at me if it doesn't, but uh, never mind. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? I don't know. Anything can happen, and it usually does. Right, let's put our engines on continuous. Turn on the engine bus. We're running on engine power. Turn off the APU. APU bleed. Turn on hydraulics and generators. Turn on the APU. And turn on our packs. We're going to cruise around about 12,000 feet today. Not very high at all, really. Not going up too high. Such a short flight, really, I suppose. So that will be fine. Um, we've got... I think we have got uh, clearance for taxi. Did we get clearance for taxi? Uh, da, da, da. Ground services. Tower... Limbo Tower, we must have got taxi clearance, did we? I think we must have got taxi clearance already, so that is all good. We can take off our brakes, check, gear down, flaps down, five. Oops, 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 oops. Wow, this airport looks busy today. Looks very, very busy. We got some really heavy storm rainstorms here at the moment in Auckland. Um, yeah, it's not like that in the flight simulator, thank goodness. 
would have been rather messy, but uh, our first flight on part of our new series, career mode for Jet and Airways. Follow along if you would like to uh, climb up the rankings with Jet and Airways. Uh, I'm going to start my clock when I get down to the hold short. Must remember to do that. I usually forget. <laughs> Terrible, eh? I'm a dodgy pilot. So when I get down there, I will turn on my clock and we were going to log our hours and we'll start start our journey on our career mode for Jet and Airways. There's a few uh, PMDG 737s parked at the gate over there. Quite a busy day. Quite a busy day for uh, multi pilots, multiplayer mode. Quite a nice day though, as the sun rises here in San Diego. Not a bad day. Oh, we're going a little fast with this taxi. A little bit too keen. We're keen as mustard today. Keen as mustard. Um, now, if you're a bit of an experienced pilot and you want to have a go at our our career mode, for Jet and Airways, feel free to fly the same. Uh, flight as me, your time will be logged the same as mine and I'll put your name on the list there, the pilot's list. Just let me know in the comments below that you've flown the route and uh, I'll put your name on the pilot's list and I'll log you in with the same time as me and we'll climb up the ranking together. Now if you find that you have a better way of doing the flight plan if you want to do it completely on the flight planner or if you uh, want to do it on little nav map or another s software program feel free just to do it okay that is fine this guy could sit here for hours it's multiplayer mode I got no idea who he is or what he's doing so I'm going to bypass him sorry mate Now turn on my clock as well because I didn't do that but I've done it now. So we are on the clock guys. We are starting our career for Jet and Airways. Going to work our way up to the big bucks. <laughs> work our way up to the big dollars. Now if you follow me in this career mode I might even work out some re little rewards and little rewards to post out to you. Okay if you follow me up through the rankings that sounds like a good idea. Okay, we're going to do a running start. I'm just going to check here a couple of things. Make sure my landing light's on. Uh, check. Uh, uh, flaps down five. Try to keep it in the middle of the runway. Right, we are underway.
Young Neighbors on. RTO. Not RTO. Toga. And up we come. No tower strike. That plane that was sitting in front of us in the hold short has decided to take off at the same time as us. That is cool. You're not clear for takeoff. Okay, got that. Got that. Right, so we're going to cruise around to the left. Autopilot engaged. Auto throttle is engaged. Uh, vertical speed. Vertical speed set at uh, two two. And we're coming up to uh, one thousand three hundred feet. We can start taking our flaps up. And we're climbing out to our first uh, sit, our first uh, waypoint. You can see it here. Uh, that is our first waypoint that we put into the FMC WNFLD. Two point five mil nautical miles away. We're climbing up at around about ten, fifteen degree climb, which is beautiful. Take our flaps up more. This is the moon up there. As you can see, the sun rises, so it's uh, lighting up that part of the moon, which is just lovely. Coming out of uh, San Diego and a sunrise. It's a beautiful morning. And we're heading up the coast to San Diego, starting first day of our career. Our career mode, first day. Whoops, push the right button. Okay, that's it. I've redone all my assignments, so every, every so often my mind goes blank and I start pushing the wrong buttons to change my views. Uh, but okay, we are looking good. Heading up to 10,000 feet, we're at um, 230 knots, which was our climb out restriction. I think the climb out restriction is of about uh, 232, 34 knots. Get past our first waypoint, I will take that up a little bit. So we're flaps up, we can turn off our landing lights, taxi lights. Thirty, coming up to eight thousand feet, climbing out pretty much exactly ten degrees climb out. That's quite nice. Let's see if our uh, our SIDS and stars do the magic for us with this uh, new little flight plan that I put together. Okay, so let's program our FMC now. I mean our ILS. Uh, let's do our ILS. Okay, frequency 11110. Uh, where are we? Here we go. 11110 for our ILS. One 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 oh okay. Uh, 
Um, don't seem to have the heading for the runway. But I think we'll be okay. We'll try that out, eh? How are we going? We're at 10,000 feet. Coming up to our first waypoint. We're at 230 knots. Let's bring her up to 12,000 feet. Yeah, we'll increase our speed. Let's go to 290, eh? 290. It should move us along quite nicely. Have a look on our map. Almost halfway already. It's quite a short uh, flight plan. This is the plan I built in the flight planner. And if you look, it has exactly the same waypoints. There's our SID, Padre. P A D R Z or 2. P A D R 2. The number stands for the amount of time that that SID has been updated. So there's no difference between P A D R 2 and 3. It's just the fact that uh, it has been updated slightly and that's why the numbers change. If there's 4, that means it's been updated 4 times. Okay, so we keep coming down the flight plan here. There's HEM, H E. H F M N N, which we put into our FMC, remember? Uh, we come in a bit closer. There's uh, T R N D O, which we put into our FMC. Then there's Shell. And then there's, uh, is it Fogler? F O G L A. We put that into our FMC. As you can see, these are standard arrivals and stars. And you can look down and you'll see the other planes following the exact same route as they come in to land. Exactly the same uh, SIDs and stars they're using as us. Um, because that's the proper way to do it. A big thanks to Alan who's been pushing me and helping me along with all this. Cheers mate. Always something to learn. There's always something to learn. Nobody knows everything. Regardless of how good you are, um, there's always a lot of stuff to learn. That's what makes it so much fun, and that's what gives a study level aircraft uh, so much longevity. might be almost time to start um, descending such a short flight I don't want to overcook it so we'll come down to 5,000 feet initially bring our speed down a little bit since we're going downhill
So we're going to have to do quite a few flights if we're going to get up in the rankings. Our first, our first, um, our first target. Um, our first target here from captain to flight captain that's 15 hours okay so we've got quite a few flights to do just to climb up to uh, flight captain get up to senior captain <laughs> we're really gonna have to clock up some flights guys <laughs> we're gonna have to be out flying almost every day we're gonna have to be up doing probably one or two flights at some stage I could be up burning the midnight oil with this with this little uh, project or this series we could end up burning the midnight oil. Right, so we're coming down now in our attitude, our altitude. Won't be long, and we'll be turning inland, heading out towards the back of uh, San Diego. We're going to come in over the city today. Normally, I'm coming in over the ocean, over the sea. Uh, today, we're going to come in over the city. So that's going to be interesting. Should see some nice, uh, nice scenery there. Haven't done that for a long, long time. A long time. Going quite fast, 300 knots. Uh, that will come off a bit. We'll bleed off a lot when we, uh, when we level out. So that won't be a problem. Uh, let's put our auto brake onto three. Uh, we're under 10,000 feet, so we can actually put our landing lights on now. Taxi lights on, in case we forget later. Which does happen, doesn't it? It does happen. Yes, indeed. A little bit of cloud, quite nice. Right, coming up to our next waypoint. Uh, we'll be turning around to the right and we'll be heading inland. Get some nice views of uh, Los Angeles. down to 4,000 feet. Right, I'm going to drop down to uh, mm, three and a half. And uh, almost time to start bleeding off a bit of speed. Quite a few pilots up flying today. Quite a few. It's a busy little place, uh, Los Angeles. Okay, we're down to three and a half thousand feet. Our speed is coming down now, so that is a good thing. Can see some runway lights over there. Not sure if that is Los Angeles. I don't think so. That could be Orange Orange County. Uh, I think those lights over there should be Los Angeles. Quite a few little airports and runways around this part of the country.
doing some nice city views now. Beautiful big uh, wharf down there. It's a huge big shipping container yard and a wharf. A big uh, cargo, uh, big shipping cargo depot, that uh, harbour down there. Really is a big place. Right, so let's come down to 2000 because we'll be looping around for our final approach soon over the city. Need to bring our speed down. And we're looping around over the city to come on to our finals. There's Los Angeles over there. So we're not far from getting on to our final approach. So we need to bring our speed down a little bit. Utilize our speed brakes to come down. Okay. Right, pre-landing checklist, landing lights on, flaps down, taxi lights on, speed 160 knots, can bring that down a little bit more as soon as we've made our big turn here. We're at 2,000 feet, we have some uh, diamonds on the FMD already. Coming around to the left now to be on our finals. And we are all configured guys, we are all configured for a nice uh, nice approach. Let's hope this flight plan is going to work for us. It's the first time I've flown this flight plan since uh, throwing it together. Putting in the SIDS and STARS and making sure I had everything right, so uh, fingers crossed. Eh? If it doesn't work for us, it is back to the drawing board. Uh, we will do an ILS approach if it is available to us. Uh, then we'll turn it off, turn off the autopilot just before we land. There is a huge tarmac over there that is uh, Los Angeles. We're sort of on our crosswind leg at the moment. You can see there we came up here across. We're going to turn left and then uh, straight in. 
for a nice ILS approach. Quite a sharp turn though, I hope the plane can do it. I don't like having such sharp corners or sharp turns in the flight plan. I really try and I like the I like the plan to be nice and subtle, soft, gentle turns. So we'll see how it goes with this. Here we go. We've got some diamonds. Down to 50, 150 knots, that is fine. We'll keep it 150 knots in the uh, see we're in the 737-700 um, cannot see our diamonds our diamonds have disappeared have we put the wrong frequency into the ILS I don't know maybe guys maybe I would have thought that we would have had some diamonds by now for here we're coming in straight as an arrow, but um, do not appear to have any diamonds. Maybe I've put the wrong ILS frequency into the into the radio. So check that out, eh? When you do your flight plan, double check me because I am a bit of a dodgy sort of a. I am a pretty dodgy pilot. I try to do things correctly, and I'm learning, but. Uh, I have a long way to go. So I can see the runway very clear. You can see here we're coming in nice and straight. We're coming in beautifully. So the flight plan actually worked perfectly. I really like it. It was a beautiful flight plan. Um, but I'm just surprised uh, we didn't have any diamonds. So I've obviously probably put the wrong ILS frequency in. Or maybe I've got to put the heading in. Maybe I've got to put the uh, the actual heading in there as well. See, I didn't put a heading. I didn't put a heading in there. So maybe that sort of makes a difference as well. Ah, there we go. I put a heading in, and we've got diamonds. So let's. Let's hit the approach hold mode. Okay. So what I did is I went down here, had a look at what my heading was, put my heading into the uh, the course thing here, and I've now picked up the diamonds. So that's obviously what you need to do. You need to put the ILS frequency in and also the heading into the course uh, display there. And then we picked up the diamonds and I hit the approach hold mode. So we're coming in sweet. We're coming in at 150 knots. I'm going to turn the autopilot off very soon. Get a little bit closer. And let's see if we can do a nice, nice butter landing, eh? See how we go. Coming in over the city. The frame rate is beautiful, nice and smooth, no stutters, no blocking. Very happy with this. Very happy. Right, so I have my autopilot and my buttons for my flight director and everything assigned to my yoke which makes it very easy. I don't have to take my hands off the, the yoke to turn off, use the mouse to turn off the autopilot and everything. So it is brilliant. Right, autopilot is off. Speed mode is off. Flight director off. I have the plane. Try and get in the middle. Try and get right on the white line. That would be perfect, wouldn't it? There's a plane on the runway. We'll forget about him.
Not quite in the middle, guys, but okay. Okay. That was a nice soft landing, but not quite on the dot in the middle. I think that plane sort of put me off a little bit. Seeing that plane in the middle of the runway. That's the problem with multiplayer mode. You get planes all over the place. And I didn't get clearance for landing as well, to be fair, okay? So, uh, it's not all the other guy's fault. Right, so let's find a nice place to park. I'm going to bring up my flaps here. Uh, we will do a bit of a visual check on this runway since we're crossing over the runway. It looks good, so let's go. And uh, we'll come over here and park at the gate. And that will be our first flight on our uh, career mode for Jet and Airways. We can clock up our hours, guys. Clock up our hours. Or hours, not many hours. I think it was 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes. But it all goes towards the cause, eh? I think we can come in here. Gate 74 looks cool. Slow down a little bit. Let's come in here. This will do us. Oh, oh, got my throttle set up a bit too high, I think. I think that's what the problem was there. Let's put on our brake. Okay, so let's have a look at our time. 31 minutes and 20 seconds. I'm not going to worry about the 20 seconds. I'm just going to take it as 31 minutes. Stop the clock and it stopped on 31 minutes and 20 seconds. Um... Okay, so let's bring up our chart. Uh, what did I say? 30, 31 minutes. 60 hours I've got here. So I'm going to add on uh, 30 minutes. So I've got 60 hours. Point uh, 31 minutes. Okay, 60.31. And I'll save that. So, I'm heading up the rankings, guys. 60 minute, 60 hours, sorry, 60 minutes. 60 hours and 31 minutes is where I am on the pilot ranking. So I've got a little way to go yet. I have got a little way to go. Right, hope you enjoyed that video guys, uh, feel free to fly along with me, They're exactly the same route as me, and uh, put your name in the comments below, and uh, I'll put you on the list of pilots, okay, I'll put you under my name, and I'll put in uh, the hours that you did, the time that you did on this flight, I'll start you off the same as me, okay, you can be a captain, alright, I'll start you off as captain, and I'll add on the flight this one that we did today I'll add on 31 31 minutes for you and we'll climb up the rankings and we'll do our career together for jet and airways all right guys hit the like hit subscribe if you're new to the channel uh, stay safe enjoy your flight sim and I'll talk to you again very very soon